Ellie was visiting a breezy coastal town of Sandy Shore when one sunny afternoon she noticed something strange. Ellie noticed that puddles on the beach would vanish by midday almost like magic. Where does the water go? She wondered. Determined to solve the mystery, Ellie first visited Mrs. Siegel perched on the dock, enjoying the vibrant afternoon. The sun warms the ocean, squawked Mrs. Siegel, and some water turns into vapour and rises into the sky. Next, Ellie boarded a fishing boat with her grandfather, Captain Jonah. He talked about the clouds above. Those clouds form when the water vapour cools down. Suddenly, soft raindrops began to fall onto the boat's deck. The clouds are releasing water back down to earth. Ellie returned to shore and saw a friendly crab scuttling by. Water seeps into the sand too. That's how we keep our shells moist and cool. Ellie strolled past rows of colourful beach homes, noticing small gardens, remembering how her plants at home love drinking the rainwater through their roots. Looking at the ocean, Ellie marvelled at the waves. The water always returns to the sea, she thought. The sun warms it and the cycle continues. Ellie shared her discovery with everyone in Sandy Shore. Together, they learned to cherish the ocean and the precious water that connects sky, land and sea. Did you know? Water never really disappears. It's part of a cycle. There are four stages of the cycle. First, evaporation. The sun heats the water in oceans, lakes and puddles, turning it into invisible vapour that floats into the sky. Secondly, condensation. In the cool air, vapour becomes tiny droplets forming clouds. Next, precipitation. When clouds get heavy, water returns to earth as rain or snow. Last, collection. This water collects in rivers, soil, and back in the ocean to start the cycle again. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more.